Ahoy ahoy and uh, welcome back to my channel if uh, you've watched these videos before if not if this is your first time please consider subscribing to you know please our algorithm overlords um, today uh, we will be uh, taking a look unboxing these um, well garbages uh, second album version 2.0 which uh, is named by Shirley Manson herself as the definitive um, garbage album as she says here huh. this is from the garbage book uh, this is the noise keeps me awake which uh, got I just gotten very recently it's a very nice uh, coffee table book not too large um, so here we go um, let's take a look first at the uh, OG release so it's a jewel case packaging. Um, this is a U.S. pressing, by the way. There you go. And uh, you've got the original album here, 12 tracks. Um, and the CD isn't uh, adorned much, as you can see. It's uh, it's just a silver packaging. You see me there? Hi. Um, and then the uh, tray card art. It's, it just does the same thing. I really don't know what that blue thing in the middle is. Um, and then this is the booklet, which consists of... This is a... I, I've forgot what it's called, but it's supposed to be a map of the you know, terrain that was eventually used for making this. And then the uh, CG wasn't really that sophisticated at the time, but I guess it works. I mean, that it still holds up. Um, yeah, the... Um, Second page is the reverse, and you got credits here, and the band photo right here. That's the center fold. It's a pretty thin booklet, and then partial lyrics to uh, the songs. These are not the complete lyrics, and more um, '90s CGI, and um, yeah, that's the original release we're, we're now going to take a look at the remastered version this is this was released in uh, 2018 um, this is a digi sleeve not the digi pack but a digi sleeve um, package released under a uh, stun volume their uh, independent label um, this contains two CDs uh, the original album and, and I think that's dirt there um, and a uh, second disc of uh, B-sides. Okay, so the graphics uh, didn't change much. So you have the digi sleeve right here. It opens. It's a six panel thing. And the CDs. Well, this is the booklet. Uh, originally when I got this, uh, the, um, the booklet was placed here and then the two CDs here. But I, I find it easier to store booklets in the middle pocket if available and I just you know I got this idea when I bought uh, Nirvana the 20th anniversary edition and it had it's a digi pack you know with a plastic trace but um, the booklet was um, inserted in the middle just like this so this is n I just this is the way I think works best for these things um, okay so we're gonna have to take a look at that later but first um, the CD, the pockets, the CD pockets are not, unfortunately, are not closed pockets. So, let's see, it's it's very unwieldy to be honest. Um, this is a paper, rice paper sleeve that's used for CDs. Um, supplied by myself. It doesn't come with the original package. I, all my um, CDs that are that come with in in this type of packaging, I always put them in rice paper sleeves so they don't get scratched um, so it's just that no not nothing not nothing much in the design the CD itself is not clear uh, rather it, it's fully coated on this side with white and then um, the design is very similar as you can see doesn't have a track list it says CD1 and the second disc will also have the same designation, assuming that I can get it out of the packaging because this is not 
Yeah, you might think I'm murdering the packaging right now. But yeah, I, I love the G sleeves actually. They're very durable. As assuming you don't tr throw them, <laughs> of course. But yeah, this is um, what the disc second disc looks like. And these are the um, hype stickers. Uh, what I did with the hype stickers was I put them on contact sheets. These are, uh, or rather, release sheets release papers these are um paper sheets that are used for you know uh, stickers and i got them from uh, uh you can probably get them from most you know hobby stores i think so i just cut them to match so this is the first cd and this uh, uh first um hype sticker another hype sticker these are <laughs> these things are very 90s very nice 90s yeah anyway yeah and then I just put them in a trading card sleeve. I got I got these. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, the booklet. Forgot. So they are very similar. But here's the funny. This is this is the the one that came come, came with this. This is the OG, the the one that came with the original. And you you can easily tell because the um the record label information isn't well. This is all sounds. And this is uh, stun volume and the, the copyright. You know, it's n it's not that um, it's not exactly the same. And it's, you might notice the map, the map design. This is finer, I think. Well, um, I'm not hundred percent sure, but they may have remapped this, the CG here. This is a new map, and this is not well. This is not the same. Obviously, you can see the crags here and here, and this is uh, it's got a smoother look. It's, it's a it's got higher resolution too in terms of like how tight the mesh is. Well, let's call it the mesh map or whatever. Um, so yeah, the uh, the booklet is uh, practically the same. I mean, you got the reverse cover here you've got credits which are obviously uh different because uh, uh well you got a different credit for mastering and such and then of course you've got the band photo in the middle and complete lyrics this time of just the album um track one until track 12. yeah it uh, it's it occupies the entire um page now so you don't, you don't really get to see much of what the CG I think this is also remapped but I might be wrong um, yeah uh, the funny thing is the if you notice the original booklet actually matches the color of the remastered edition more but well it is what it is well so that is your look and um, garbage version 2.0 the original version and the 20th anniversary uh, remaster um, okay so till the next video uh, be good <laughs>